Well, tonight, Candy Cane Lane kicked off its drive through holiday lights display. But there's something missing in Prairie Village this year, and a lot of people are disappointed. Lindsay Shively is in the newsroom with the story of why those lights will be out this year. Lindsay? Cynthia, a few months ago, a new city ordinance required a special events permit for those holiday displays that draw big crowds, largely for traffic control. For one house with a rich history that people had to park and get out to see, the new rules meant lights out. As headlights pass through this Prairie Village street, only porch lights greet them. We were trying to debate which house it was. Because surely this isn't it. Surely this uh, isn't yeah. Mike Babick's house sitting dark. About to cry, I really am. For decades, thousands came from all over the world to see Babick's work, his lifetime love of animatronics that brought Christmas to life. A few years ago, a few neighbors started to complain about those thousands on their street. I don't believe uh, I have anything to worry about because my display alone speaks for itself. But now, 47 years of handmade Christmas stands still. It really hurts me and it hurts the rest of the family to see him hurt. It's very heartbreaking. It is because I help that man every single year. Babbick's grandson says a new city ordinance would make this display too expensive. It's a bunch of crap, yeah, isn't shame. it? It is a shame. The cost of traffic control would be out of control. Car after car can't believe it's gone. Candy canes. Free candy canes. But a few miles away, Candy Cane Lane marches on. Traffic flows a little easier here. Their drive through Christmas attraction got one of those new permits free and clear. We were a little nervous about that. But Babbick's touch is even here, too. We have the little candy man that. Uh, that it, it cooks the candy canes over there and he's helped us get him started a few times. From neighbors who know what it's like to fight for decades of tradition. I know he's definitely in our hearts right now. To the Babbick family who seems to know where one door closes, another one opens. Dad's got something in store for everybody next year and it'll be bigger and better. A lot of people here certainly hope so. Doing away with Christmas in Prairie Village? Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.